It's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. We are in the bathroom today because I'm doing makeup. And um, sorry I didn't get on here earlier today, but I had a belly ache. <laughs> but that's a good thing. Um, I'm washing clothes. Um, started cleaning the, I did the hood. Chris is doing the stove. That stove is hard to clean. And uh, he washed all the dogs this morning. And I ordered a lot of wet and wild um, makeup. So I wanted you guys to see it because it's cheap. And I want you to see how pretty it is, even if it is cheap. Hey, everybody. Um, now, when I don't know, some of y'all don't know this, but years ago, we got to be on a TV show. And we went out to L.A. and we did... Um, well, it was called Family Food Fight. And let me tell you, it was hot on set. Oh, my stars. And I do not do good when I'm sweating. Well, my makeup looked terrible. And before I left, I went to Ulta. I had my hair done. Um, and let them color it instead of me. And I bought name brand makeup. And I'm not going to tell you what I brought. But while I was there, it would sweat off. Even if I used powder, it would just, it just didn't hold up, okay? And I had my old faithful wet and wild with me. And I decided to start wearing it on set because we were there a full three weeks. And when I did, it worked so much better. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I actually ordered, it has been years since I got like all new makeup and if you go to Ulta and you get one thing, you spend 30 or $40. Now, most of the wet and wild makeup is around $5 or less even. Their lipsticks can be like $2 through Amazon. I don't even know how they sell it that cheap, but because Amazon charges you to, to sell stuff. But anyway, I have ordered new, just about everything. And, I'm, and I got it all cheap. So for the price, I would have paid for about three items at Ulta. I got all of this. So I'm going to show you what I got, and then we're going to do our makeup. Okay, I tried to get fall colors. I don't know if I can turn this thing around. I don't think I can. I've got y'all on Restream, so I can do two at one time. Can y'all hear me? Is it real muffled, or is it good? I'm using this, and I don't really know if it's working. Okay, I got three different blushes. Let me show them to you. This one is called Naked Brown. Naked Brown. And then I got Pearlescent Pink. And then I got Bed of Roses. Okay. I got some bronzer. And I made the mistake. Let me tell you this. If you order makeup through Amazon. Don't choose ship it all in one box because if you do, they're gonna put it in a big box and it's gonna get tossed around in the box. So my bronzers, both of my bronzers were broke all to pieces. They did not make it here. Do not choose that option with makeup. Let it ship individually so that it's in its own little pack and it doesn't get thrown around as much because when it's in a box, it just really, it's just ridiculous, okay? Now, I got three foundations. These are all stick. I got soft ivory, porcelain, and shell ivory. And I'm gonna show you the different colors. This is soft ivory, because I didn't really know which one to get. It's been so long. This is porcelain. This is soft ivory. This is porcelain. And this is shell ivory. The third one. And really the one that looks closest to my color, I think, is the first one, which is soft ivory. Okay. Now y'all might it really, this one's close too. These two are really close, but you could use this one 
as like a concealer, okay? And, and then you don't have to buy concealer because that's what I do. I don't buy concealer most of the time. <clears throat> I just use my makeup and I use a different color. Um, now, the one that I was wearing for y'all the other day that you thought was so pretty is Shell Ivory, which I might have already had, which I've already showed you. All right. Um, I like to apply it with this. This is a foundation brush. I'll show you how to do it. And then I got two powders because setting powders helps your makeup stay in place. And this is um, Fair and Light and Translucent. Those are the colors I got. Okay. Now, I got some wild brass eyeshadow glitter just for fun. Uh-oh, it's not open. I tried to open all of this before I got y'all on here. I've been busy today. Let me open this all the way. I missed the side sticker. I want y'all to see this. Look at this. I dropped it in the floor and it didn't even break. All right. Now for eyeshadow, I got two palettes. And like I said, if y'all were wondering, this stuff is cheap. Um, this one is Walking on Eggshells, this one right here, and then I got um, Sundance. So, they're all fall colors. These are more orangey. These are more nudes. All right. I got Bronzer. Two, two made it here because they were not packaged in that box. They were packaged individually. These bronzers are Ticket to Brazil and Palm Beach Ready. And they're probably dark enough for me anyway. The other ones were really dark. And then I got liquid makeup, liquid lipstick, and I got their matte lipstick. And I'm just gonna show you the differences in them. But the first thing we're going to do is put on a little bit of um, primer. And they have primer, and it's dirt cheap, too. Let me find my primer. Got some Huey Lemon X. Let me see if I can find my primer today. That is not it. Sorry, y'all. Oh, there it is right in front of my face. So, that's their primer. So, we're going to put it on first. I think this is primer. Yeah, face primer. Whew. I'm gonna have to turn my comments off just so that I can see myself a little bit because right now my window's so little that I can't hardly see what I'm doing. Now this primer's cheap as dirt, so you can use plenty of it. So if you wanna put it on your neck and make your neck prettier, you can. Uh, let me get this bigger. It doesn't even show it to me bigger. Hold on, y'all. Well, for heaven's sakes. Um. Hmm. That's as good as it gets for me. That's crazy. Oh well, that's just the way it is. I can't say good. Now, uh, I don't hardly ever use Restream in my bathroom. I hope it's coming in clear for y'all. Now, which color y'all think I should use? I think I'll use the white, the middle one, under my eyes and in my highlight areas, and then I'm gonna use the, hmm, one is more pink, like me, and one is more cream. I think I'm gonna use the pink today, okay? So we will use, I think this was it. Nope. This is the white, the porcelain. So, I'm just going to take my little brush. What I might have to do is do this in a separate mirror just in front of y'all. 
So I'm just using the brush and I'm going to put this around my eyes. Now, this does not burn your eyes. That's one thing I like about it too. Because a lot of those name or brand, name, more that are name brand, they burn your eyes. Because they have uh, sunscreen. And I am so lazy. I just like to apply one thing to my eyes and one thing to my face. I don't like having to do concealer. So I just use this as concealer. The lighter color. Plus, it's, it's good to have a lighter color under your eyes anyway when you're our age. Oh, let me turn the lights on in here. Might help a little bit. So I try to get it all the way up to the, the edge of my eye. And then I do that. Some of y'all are probably thinking, Lord have mercy. She puts it on her eyelids, I do. I've got so many freckles, y'all. And you know what? Freckles are pretty when you're young, but when you get older, people think they're age spots. They're not, they're just freckles. Now, I have some age spots, don't get me wrong. I can show them to you before we cover them up. I don't have that many. I'm 54 this year. All right, look, see that one right there? That's an age spot. That's an age spot. Here's one right here. And then I have one on my cheek right here. And sometimes I use the lighter color to cover them up a little more. We'll do that right quick. that look okay showing y'all how you can be pretty with cheap makeup you don't have to spend a fortune on makeup I think makeup's overrated I mean I really do I think it's way overrated I think people go in there and they buy all this fancy makeup when they could just go to the drugstore and get whatever is on sale now, some people have very sensitive skin, like my Amy, the redhead, and she has to uh, wear certain things because she breaks out. But I've never been one to break out. The only thing that's ever broke me out, and I'm a redhead, the only thing that's ever broke me out is one time I bought a cleanser for my face that had citrus in it. And buddy, you talking about breaking me out, I look like a teenager all over again. I did, I look like a teenager. I wish I could see in here better. <sighs> We're gonna play with the lipsticks and have fun. I'm gonna show y'all all the different colors. This is just fun. Then when Amy comes today, me and her might work on the Christmas tree and I'm going to make some fried apple pies in a little bit. I already made tea, put it in the freezer to get it cool. Amy loves tea. And let's see. Let's see how I'm looking. I did do a good job blending it in. Now, some people put their blush on at this point, and then some people put their blush on uh, after they put their powder and stuff on. If you do that, it don't last as long. It comes off. I think it's good to go ahead and put it on while everything's kind of wet. That looks really pretty on my complexion. This color does, I think. This is a new color for me. And uh, I think it looks good. Because I am red and ruddy. I need it, you know, it's like a lot of people think if you're kind of red like me, you should use a yellow to tone down some of the red. But really and truly, the red is what matches you more. 
Okay, that's probably good. Now see how red this is? I always put it there too. Let me do it real quick. These are a few of my favorite things. I've been I've been playing Christmas music for two days. Chris does not like it, <laughs> but it don't matter because that's what I like. And this time of year, that's what I play. And this just kind of covers up my redneck because I'm a redneck in the sense that I really do have a red neck. Right? That's it. Ta-da! Okay, that, took, that takes the longest. All right, let's do eyeshadow next. Let's see. Y'all wanna do the nudes? I'll let y'all vote. I'll look and see who votes what. Y'all want me to do the oranges or the nude? Walking on eggshells or Sundance. Sundance or walking on eggshells. Vote. And that's what I'll use. Let me let me see what's coming in. Do you cook anymore? This is not my cooking channel. This is my Bible study channel and my everyday around the house channel. So if you're looking for cooking, if y'all looking for cooking. Go to Collard Valley Cooks. Of course I cook all the time. Ooh, I got a lot of folks coming in. It looks like it's gonna be about half and half. Hey, let's do one eye one way and one eye the other. How about that? I'll do that. Then I'll have to fix it before I go um, to cook, I don't know, I might, I might just wear it that way, even to cook my um, fried pies. All right, so we're gonna do our, our um, eye makeup next. I'm gonna do one eye with one color and one eye with the other color, okay? Now, I use my fingers to do eyeshadow. That's my favorite way. Mama used her fingers, that's what I do. I've got all kind of brushes. The only thing I use a brush for is if I wanna use the liner the eyeshadow for liner, and I do that for my my brows and my eyes a lot. So I'm gonna put these on. Um, I'm gonna start with the dark color. This is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the dark color. I'm gonna use this first, then I'm gonna put this in the corner. All right. Then I'll put this, I guess, in the inside crease, and then we'll use these two as highlights. Probably just this one. I probably won't use this gold at all, okay? So, let's get started. Oh, crap, I got the wrong color first, which is fine. Good thing about using your fingers is you just use each one like that. I usually use three colors. Um, so, let's put these on. Y'all ready? So, here's the colors on my fingers. And we're gonna start with the middle one. Now, when you use a cheaper makeup like this one, the colors aren't as pigmented, which means they're not as dark when you put them on your eye. So if you want them to be really dark, then you have to, um, just use more of it, okay? Uh, like that second color, I love it. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna get more of it. Look how pretty that is on my finger. So I'm gonna get more of it. Then I'm gonna use this pearly color And I'm gonna go on the inside. Now, I'm not an expert with makeup. So, I'm not gonna put on my makeup like the experts do. My daughter is, she's an expert. Then I take the white color and I do the inside of my eye like this. Every time 
You want to get that light as you can right there. And then I usually go over all of it again. And then if you want to darken the crease, you can. Then I'll show you how I do my brows. Let me look and see what it's looking like. Perfect. It's very natural. We picked the natural nudes for that eye. We're going to do the oranges on the other eye. Y'all ready? Now I got to rinse this off my fingers. Where's my rag? Good thing about using your fingers too is you just rinse it and start start something else. Simple dimple. Okay, now we're gonna do oranges and let's see which colors we're gonna choose on this one. Woo! This one's bright. So the darkest color is in the middle. Um, so that will be on the very corner. This is my medium color. And I'll probably use this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to go dark with my pointer, middle, because it gets the most, and then this one. This one don't have a real light corner, but this is pretty light. Let me show you. See these colors? They're pretty. I think these were about maybe four dollars that's all they were about four dollars all right let's see this high Woo, that's gold ain't it y'all can y'all see i guess you can Now, that one got under my eye, see? Sometimes they do. Ooh, that one looks a lot different than the other eye. All right, let me get some more color on my fingers and then I'll finish it up. Lord, look at that under my eye. That's why you do your eyeshadow before you do your setting powder. Let me take a look at this. I just need to blend it really bad. And y'all have to keep in mind, I can't see what I'm doing. I literally cannot see what I'm doing. All right, let's get this out from under my eye right quick. And what I do is I use my makeup remover, which is um, Garnier. I like the blue and my daughter likes the yellow. So I get the yellow because then I can give her one. Um, the difference is that the blue one is more oily than the yellow. And when you're older, like me, you have dry skin. It's okay for the oils, but now my daughter don't like all the oils. So I just get it and get the color out from under my eye like that. And if you want a real crease that cuts off, you can always do it like this when you're done. It's just up to you, okay? Um, holy smokes, that's even down here. That one made a mess, y'all. It just made a mess. We're gonna dry it and put the color back under my eyes and be done with thought. Come here, little brush, come here to me. Now, usually when I do this, it's really fast. I usually have my makeup on in five minutes, for real. It don't take me long at all. Cause I'm only using one color and I'm not talking. So then I just go back with the color under the eye again and across that cheek. 
where I had to take it off. Now, a lot of y'all would want me to use um, concealer under my eyes, but it's just a lot of trouble and I don't like doing it. And to me, it makes you look like a raccoon lots of times and I just don't like looking like that. So, now, if you're like my sister and you have really bad dark circles around your eyes, my sister has them, my grandmother had them, and my May has them, then a lot of people have them. You know what I'm talking about. They think they have to use concealer, but now my May hardly ever gets my, her makeup on anymore. Um, let's do... The next thing we're going to do is eyebrows and... Let me get my eyebrow pencil. Now, I use a brush like this to do my eyebrows. It drives my daughter crazy because I paint my eyebrows on. And last year, she bought me eyebrow stuff, and I don't, I don't like it. I like to paint them. So let me show you what I do. I rinse it off and get it wet. And then I pick the darkest color in my palette that I use for my eyeshadow. And that's what I use as, as um, brows. Well, in this one, I really need to use um, something that looks more auburn. So I guess this would be the closest. I think this one's shiny though. It's not real shiny. I don't think I'm, I don't think I like those colors for my eyebrows. I think I'm gonna use, um, this one we're gonna just see how it looks and if it's too orange i'm using this one if it's too orange uh, we'll just put a little darker over it and it is too orange so we're gonna have to go over it with something else. Now remember, these are new palettes, and so I haven't tried these colors before. That is not gonna work. All right, let me mix that off. And we're gonna use a brown. Could have used my bronzer color. That would probably be the best color to use. And I do have a pencil that I can use too. But I just like shadow. This one's not dark enough. Now this is where you run into uh, using a cheaper makeup. It's not, I may not be able to use it for my brows like I, I'm used to using the more expensive stuff. Wouldn't it be nice to be rich and just have somebody come in and do your makeup? It would be amazing. So, we're going to be putting up the tree. Well, we're going to be decorating the tree and getting out the decorations today. I don't know if y'all want to see that or not. If you do, I might could wait till tomorrow and do that with y'all. Oh, look what I just did. Now, this is what I do after I do that. Let me get that off. I just rotate it as I push it down through there. But normally, I take a Q-tip when I'm done and I kind of go over it so it's not so drastic. And it softens it up a little. So I use a lot of Q-tips. Y'all 
Let me see if I got, uh, I gotta get this off up here. I know one thing, this makeup is wanting to, uh, the shadow is wanting to smear a lot easier. So I may not fall in love with a wet and light, wild shadow. I've never bought it before. Okay. There it is. I mean, they're not perfect, but they're there. They're a lot bigger than they normally are. <laughs> I think it's the kind of shadow that I'm using. I really do. All right, so now we're gonna do blush. Let's do bronzer. Now you gotta have um, a brush to do your bronzer. I'm gonna put this one on first. Now, some people go down through here with it, but I don't typically, to make the bottom of your chin look smaller. <laughs> I don't normally do that. Um, and then you got your light color, your highlighter, and you just kind of Get those. Now this is my lip primer. It is not wet and wild. It's my favorite. It's on the website. My lips bleed really bad and they have for years. My lips have been bleeding up my face since I was in my 30s. I don't know why. My sister, she smokes and hers don't do it. So go figure. I think it's because my skin is so dry. Um, she has different skin than I do. This is the Chocolate Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner. Before we put on lipstick, let's do um, blush and um, liner. Real quick, blush. Let's use, y'all wanna use a dark blush today? Let's see. Where's my blush brush? Sometimes I lose my stuff. Where is my blush brush? It's just disappeared. For real. Crap, I might have to use this. I don't know where I put it. All right, so let me brush this off. I usually like to use a bright color for blush. blush is important and I wear a lot of it compared to most people and you can if it, if it gets a little too dark you can take these little cotton pads and just rub over it a little bit and that's what I typically do after I put it on it just softens it up some and then now we can put out on our setting powder so let's do that I've got this that I use I'm today I'm gonna use um, this light fair color and we're gonna get it on and this is gonna lighten up my face some now a lot of people don't like to use the powder because it set, settles in their wrinkles and they think it makes them look more wrinkled. And that's fine if you're just going out for dinner and you're not going to be out long. But now, if you're getting ready for work and you want your makeup to last all day, then 
you should use a setting powder. Boy, my eyes look different, don't they? All right. For eyeshadow, I mean for mascara, mascara and liner, I'm gonna use my good stuff. The good stuff. I'm funny about what goes on my eyes. Where's my? Okay, so liner quickly. We'll do liner and mascara, and we'll play with the lipstick. The lipstick we can put off and on. Okay, everything on my face is cheap except for my lip primer, my mascara, and my eyeliner. So, oh crap, I just messed up. Well, I'm just not doing good with this eye today. I'm just getting up my little messes. Lord, my eyebrows look terrible. Their eyeshadow does not do good with my eyebrows at all. Let me get my eye pencil. That looks pretty bad, y'all. I have to say. Let's use the pencil a little bit. This is an Auburn pencil. I don't like their eyeshadow. I'll just go ahead and tell you. I don't like their eyeshadow, y'all. Foundation, fine. Blush, fine. I love their foundation. Primer, the face primer's good. But their eyeshadow mm, needs work. And it's cheap. It's cheap. I put it on and then take it off, but it's just so dark if you don't. Okay, that's it. Let's do lips. Lips, lips, lips. All right, I'm gonna show you all these different colors. Now, if you use the chocolate liner, uh, then you'll use a lipstick that's about chocolate color. Um, 
But I'm going to show you all the different lipsticks. And I'm going to put my glasses on now, praise the Lord. Now, I do love their lipsticks. Um, so their foundation, their highlighter, their primer, their lipsticks, yes, cheap, but still wonderful. All right, I'm going to show you the different colors. This one is Close Off. <laughs> Crazy. Close Off. Um, let me get this off my hand. So I'm going to show you all these. Close Off. All right. Close Off. This one is something over, I don't know what it says. They make it so hard to read. That one's, uh, um, this one's a matte and this one's a gloss. This one is Tangerine. Now, I like to get an orange uh, in the fall. Now, that is orange. That's a pretty orange. This one is... Oh, uh, here I showed you that one. This one is Cinnamon Spice. It's a lot like the clothes off. <laughs> These are matte liquids, and when you put them on, they stay on. A lot of people don't like them because they think they dry out their lips too much. It's so pretty. This one is, uh, Give me mocha. Give me mocha. And of course I had to get red because it's Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. There's the red, pretty. All right. And then I got these shimmers because a lot of people like the shimmers I was wearing the other day. They have a pink and they have uh, different colors. But, like, this is a really pretty one right here. These are liquid um, eyeshadows, I believe. No, they're liquid lipsticks. But they they stay on. Um, boy, that one's pretty. Look how pretty that is. This one right here. Um, the lipstick is Wet n' Wild. Mega last. These are. And I mean, they last. They stay on all day. Um, gosh, that's pretty. I think I'm going to wear it today. It's my favorite. Gosh, that's so pretty. Let me show you the pink. That one's pretty, too. These are called Mega Last. And they stay on all day. Liquids. See, that one's real natural. If you wanted to wear your nudes, it would just give your lips a little bit of color. And this one is um, Satin Sheets. Let me make sure I'm not using the right one. Oh, it, that's the one I just showed you. The darker one is Belle, Ball, Belle in Love. But my favorite one is this one, which is um, Ride on My Copper. That's why I like it. We're going to put on my chocolate lip liner, and we're going to wear Ride on Carper, Copper with it. Okay? My lips were a mess. I pick at them, and I shouldn't. You can see where I have. Okay, let's do this. Let 
Now, I'm a firm believer in lipstick. My mother was, and my mother used lip liner, and I will not wear lipstick unless I've got liner on. Um, it helps the bleeding. But now those liquid lipsticks, they're good about not bleeding because they don't go anywhere. I usually go a little bit in the lip with my liner just to make my lips look a little fuller um, because I have thin lips like my mother. Amy has thin lips like me and May has big luscious lips. She has beautiful lips. All right, we're gonna wear this with it. Oh, that is beautiful, y'all. I'm in love with this lipstick. Y'all have got to get this. It is right on my copper, and it is so pretty. Look at it. Isn't it pretty? Now, which eyeshadow do y'all like best when you're looking straight in at me? Y'all vote. Let me take my hair down so I look better. <laughs> and then y'all vote on which uh, shadow you like the best, the darker or the nude. On me. Did y'all have fun? There's the dark, here's the nude. I kinda like the dark, I mean the orangey cause I got on this red shirt. The darker, the bronze, the nude. You'll like both. I just thought this would be fun. Do you know what? She's, uh, Gary Waitman, you're not Gary. Um, tell me what your name is. I guess that's your husband's name. But she says she used burgundy reds and plums for 50 years, but since moving to Florida, she's gone with more of a mauve. Do you know as a redhead, I do look terrible with mauve lipstick on or burgundy. I look terrible with those colors. Um, now my daughter wears them, but I just don't like my complexion with them. But now they look gorgeous to me on like darker headed women. I don't know what color your um, skin is. But these liquid mega lasts, you can get them on Amazon. You can uh, get them at Dollar General sometimes. I'm gonna be honest with you, my, some of my Dollar Generals aren't even using, they're not even selling wet and wild anymore. And I don't know why. Um, they're selling other stuff. And uh, so if you can't get them at your Dollar General, um, go to um, Amazon or go, Ulta actually sells Wet n Wild. So um, you don't have to buy the really expensive stuff. When you go into Ulta, they have this Wet n Wild. So that you should be able to get the primer in there. You should be able to get the uh, foundation in there the highlighters, the, the blushes. I mean, I think it looks great. My makeup looks great. Um, and I mean, I'm not crazy about the eyeshadow, but I mean, it's fine as an eyeshadow. It's just not good for my eyebrows um, and my eyeliner probably. But for the eyeshadow, it's fine. And that's what it's supposed to be for anyway, you know? So anyway, I hope y'all had fun today. It's super cheap. I wanted to show it to you because you can get a whole slew of stuff for the price that you can get two or three things at, 
of the nicer stuff, okay? And it's fun, 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 because then you have more to play with. Oh, let's put on some glitter. I'm gonna show y'all how this Mega Last does. Now look, I'm gonna rub it. That's the Mega Last. See how it doesn't rub off? This is Mega Last. This is uh, liquid makeup. It stays. But now these regular lipsticks, they're gonna smear a little more. These are the regular matte and glossy lipsticks, but see the Mega Last and the liquids, they stay in place. I mean, seriously. And so when you go to take them off, you got to have Makeup Remember to get those off your lips, okay? So, um, this is using Makeup Remover. See how the regular lipstick comes off so easy? But this is the Mega Last. See how it don't just come off easy? So you really got to scrub it off. And I mean, see, it's not even, you gotta work, work it, work it, baby, work it to get it off. So when you put that on your lips, it's there to stay. I'm having to really bear down to get it off my hand. That's why my sister don't like wearing it because she thinks it dries her out too much, but I love wearing them. I can come in here at night. It comes off your lips a little easier than it does at the top of my hand. But I come in here at night and take it off, of course, before I go to bed. Now, let's play with this a minute. Why not? It's Christmas. I got this. This is the last thing I haven't played with. And then we will sign off here. This is glitter. I have no idea. It may just want to go all over the place. I haven't tried to use it yet. So I'm just going to use it on my pinky. Woo, it is glittery. Y'all look at this. So because it is so glittery, I mean, this is just for something special, you know? We're just gonna barely. Put it like that. And, um, and that way, if you're, you know, it's Christmas or whatever, you're going out, uh, just barely, don't rub it, just pat it because it's glitter. Unless you want it on there really, really thick. You can see a little bit now. I mean, you can play with it. You could put it on your lips, on your eyes. How's that? I'm so crazy. <laughs> Is it playing with makeup? Y'all, I know one thing. When I get over these holidays, I am going to get my tooth fixed. I really am. So y'all pray I take the time out to do that. <sighs> All right. So we're going to clean up in here. And then we're going to go in the living room. I'll take y'all in there with me right quick. I don't know if it'll stay connected or not, but uh, I'll take y'all in there and let y'all see how pretty the stove looks before I cook on it, okay? This is the first time I've officially cleaned the stove with polish. I mean, I always wipe it down when I cook, but I polished, I polished the top part and Chris did the bottom because it was a job. And Chris did not do the other side. I told him if he was tired, he didn't have to do the other side. Um, and he didn't. So he was tired because he had already washed all three of the dogs. And so um, I wish I could flip this around, but I can't. So I'm going to have to turn it around this way. But you can see it shining. So I did the hood. 
And he did the stove top on this side. And he did the whole front. The only thing he didn't do is this side. And it's still a mess. I guess y'all can see that. Because if you want to know what we used, um, what worked the best, was I, I used this just to polish the stainless steel if it's not real dirty. But if it has some discoloration, then what I do is I use this Barkeeper's Friend, and this is Cleanser 4 stainless steel, copper, brass, fiberglass, excuse me, Corian, chrome. I mean, what I do is I sprinkle it on the side of the sink and I wet it. And I just kind of turn it into a paste and then I take a paper towel and rub it off here and then I rub it in circles on the on the hood or on the surface and that gets everything off um, like my barkeeper's friend got this completely slick and clean okay um, and then I had some discoloration on this part right here and you could see it, it looked like two different colors. And then after I polished it with the Bark Keeper's Friend, it's just gorgeous. And let me show you the paper towel if I can find it in the trash can to show you the difference. Um, when you're using the spray stuff, it's just, you know, it don't really look that dirty, okay? Now I got the grease off with the degreaser first, but this is how the spray, but if you use the polish, look, it actually polishes it and gets the tarnish off the steel or your copper or whatever it is you're um, polishing. So it makes a big difference in how it looks. And of course I can't use that on my grates or anything. These grates are cast iron and there's so much a cast iron that if I wash a stainless steel, I mean if I wash a cast iron skillet and I put it on the stove to dry and it's wet on the bottom because it's cast iron, the grill part of the top of the oven, the, the heat doesn't, it doesn't heat up all the grill part. So like when you take the, the skillet off, there's still water on it, even when the skillet's dry. So you have to get a paper towel and dab up that water because if you don't, it's, it's cast iron, it'll rust right on the top of the grate. And um, I read that in the manual and I'm glad I did because it definitely will do it. So um, it is kind of a high maintenance stove, but I sure love it and I'm glad I got it. I'm not having any regrets at this point. So um, I think I'm fixing to start pulling out some decor, decor and, uh, but I don't know what time it is, it's one o'clock. Um, I want to start my apples cooking because I, when I go live on Facebook, I'm gonna go live at 4.30. Um, all I'm gonna do is cook them live because I'm gonna make a video out of cooking the apples and making the fried pies. And then I'm just gonna go on Facebook and just do a short live of cooking them. Making the dough and cooking some more is what I'm gonna do. And that way I have two different ones for different platforms. And that's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today. Let me see what y'all were saying. Y'all are cooking probably. Y'all remember I got most everything cooked. Dollar General has Barkeeper's Friend for $2. Really? That's good to know. Thank you, Pamela. She likes the orange on me. I have dry lips, but I want to try the Mega Last. I'm going to tell you, if you're going somewhere and you want it to last all day, that stuff is the bomb. The bomb. And why pay $10 and $12 for the, the name brand at the, at the drugstore or even $20 if you go to Ulta when you can get that Mega Last for, it's probably $5 or so or less in some places. It's just according to where you're buying it. But anyway, why do it? When it I, I'm gonna tell you, their lipsticks cannot be beat. I've been using Wet n Wild foundation and lipstick for years. And I'm telling you, their foundation is better than the name brands. 
and it lasted better on that show when I was sweating and having to wear it all day. It just did so much better. And I'll just go ahead and tell you what, what I was wearing. And because, you know, it matters because if I'd have bought a different brand, it might have made a difference. But I bought Lancome is what I got. Lancome. And I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to rest about an hour. And then I'm going to come in here and start my fried apple pies. I'll see you next time on Real Southern Woman. I love you. And I hope you have a blessed Thanksgiving. But I should see you again. Okay? Uh, I hope. Love you. Bye. I gotta figure out how to end this stream. Oh, here it is. <laughs>